Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PMJ YouTube channel. I'm your host, Amy, and for the next few minutes, allow me to entertain you with one of the most interesting fountain pen collections update since this beginning of 2022. Which of my most prized possessions, my crown jewel, my ultimate grail pen, I'm passing the ownership to someone else and uh, welcoming in my collection a lot of fountain pens in return. This has to be one of the most emotional um, videos because I'm pairing up with a fountain pen that's so rare. It is so special. It means a lot to me. And actually, I wasn't ready to par with it unless someone convinced me to do so because uh, he's a good person which is going to appreciate this piece a lot. And it meant a lot to me actually to make this step forward and to allow me to give up on the ownership of this fountain pen. And uh, if you see me uh, pausing, it's because I'm emotional and uh, I want to choose my words carefully. This is not a sale. This is a passing of the ownership because in return I didn't get any funds. Actually I got fountain pens which are going to serve the specific purpose of being here in my collection and actually being shared with you, my audience. If you find my content useful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before proceeding towards and showing you the fountain pen. Actually, if you want to support the Pen Venture YouTube channel, its growth, you can subscribe if you're not subscribed right now. and. Uh, I don't want to bore you with too many details. I know that some of you know that I was in Italy for the past week and I've brought a lot of fountain pens from there with me back home, which uh, I'm gonna show you in this video. And uh, you will want to watch this series and expect the next video because in the next video of this uh, personal collection update series, I'm gonna update you on the fountain pens that were exchanged for my grail pen. Comment down below which is uh, the correct order in which to start. You want me to update you on the new things that I brought from Italy and the new members of my personal fountain pen collection or you want me to start with the grail pen that's leaving the collection because uh, it will help me a lot in the future doing this kind of videos. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna start with the fountain pen that's uh, going to leave the collection. Try to guess which one it is, because it's the most rare fountain pen in my collection. To give you a hint, it's only one of 10. It served um, a very noble um, purpose in my collection. It is the crown jewel of my collection, and now it's going to be in someone else's collection. It is the one and only Classic Pants or Lambrou Pants LB6. No joke, this is a rare fountain pen because it's only 10 made in each specific color of this beautiful material. And by now, if uh, you are a fun pen collector and you hear Lambrou pants or classic pants, you know it's the stuff of dreams. Lambrou pants, it's also responsible for the most iconic fountain pen uh, that there is, I think, in online, besides a number of them like uh, Mont Blanc, uh, first edition, uh, Ernest Hemingway, I think, and uh, quite a different other uh, fountain pens. But for the most collectors that I know, friends of mine, I think Lambro Pens and Classic Pens, which is the same company, bears two names. It is very, very important because it is responsible for precursor of this series, the LB5, which is a fountain pen that I own right there in there. This is the fountain pen right here. This fountain pen uh, was acquired by me on commission to Andy Lambrou. And uh, I don't want to rant, but I had some problems in ordering this fountain pen, delays and all of that. And uh, I ordered two of them, the blue one, which is sold, which left me with the red one. And actually being so late with the production, I uh, told Andy that I wanted my funds back or uh, to send me the artist proof fountain pens and I ended up having the artist proof fountain pens. Every 00 
fountain pen from this collection of Lambro pens and many others that are numbered like this. It is the piece that's never going to leave the factory. And actually, this fountain pen wasn't supposed to leave the factory or uh, the manufacturer. Right here, you will see we have an AP artist proof engraved. I believe no other fountain pen like this has this engraving. This fountain pen is uh, featuring a faceted body. This is an extra. I order it like so because I enjoyed uh, the facets. And the maker of this fountain pen is not Lambrou Pens or Andreas Lambrou. It's actually Paul Rossi, which is a US-based pen manufacturer that sadly this year, I think uh, we can say that's no longer with us. So what's most important is this fountain pen had been made by Paul Rossi by hand. So actually the facets are cut by him and there is a lot of intro in between uh, making the silver works of this fountain pen. The entire trims are sterling silver, this facets, mounting everything. And what do I believe it's very, very special and unique about this fountain pen is the fact that opposite to the clip, if we go right here, you will have a P and R engraved, which is Paul Rossi signature. He signed this fountain pen. I'm not sure the other ones are signed by him. Uh, I think it has to do with uh, only the artist proof fountain pen, but if you know better, please correct me. There isn't too many of these fountain pens out on the market, and uh, the 00 of 10 is actually the one that's very, very sought after. I wasn't ready to pass the ownership of this fountain pen. Anyway, it has a uh, ebonite feeder with a giant size eight gold nib, and it is stamped with the logo of uh, Lambrou pens. Uh, it is made by Bok. It's an 18 karat medium, it was adjusted by Mike Masuyama. And this is actually what I ordered. I think this unifies a very, very unique package of trades and uh, interesting facts. We have a very rare material, only 10 fountain pens made, a very sought after collection. This is 00 of 10, it's an artist proof. It wasn't supposed to be out there uh, for purchase, but I managed to get it. It is a uh, handmade fountain pen by Paul Rossi, which sadly is no longer with us. It is signed by him, so it is a pretty rare fountain pen and valuable. I wasn't ready to par with it, but Chris from Instagram, Mr. Nimbich, if I'm not uh, mistaking his uh, profile ID, he messaged me quite a number of times if I'm ready to par with one of my uh, classic pens. When he showed me a picture with the founder pens that he is ready to put up for trade, that convinced me to go forward and actually make this uh, trade happen. I'm gonna leave you out there to guess which fountain pens probably I got in return for this. And if you guess correctly, I'm gonna go down below, read your uh, comments, and uh, I will tell you if you're correct or not. There is three individual fountain pens. One is resin and two are celluloids. I'm gonna give you one more hint. It is not a custom made fountain pen, either one of these three. So no custom pens, branded fountain pens from different brands. I leave you to guess which one it is. Comment down below. If you're right, I'm gonna tell you and expect the second part of this video when I will receive those three fountain pens, I will make another video and I'm gonna show you. Till then, I have to pack this safely and send it to Chris Way in the US and uh, to let him enjoy this crown jewel of mine. I'm very happy because it's going to reside in someone else's collection which understands what kind of fountain pen is this and values it as much as I did. So for me, it's a happy moment. I'm gonna put this right here because we need to update the list down below. I'm gonna remove the Lambro Pants slash Classic Pants LB6 from my collection. And let's move forward to what has been coming back from Italy with me because we have one, 
two, three, four fountain pens. This is the latest addition to my collection. It's a Corsani stacked celluloid, this beautiful, beautiful stacked gray celluloid made by Stilografica Corsani, which is an exclusive to that specific shop in Rome. I have, besides one, which I'm missing, all of this fountain pens. They reside right here. You can pretty much spot that I have the blue one, the green one, the red one, the octagonal. It was the second edition because the first one was based on the Homo sapiens. That fountain pen I'm missing and uh, if you stumble upon one, contact me because I want to have it in my collection and I will take care of it greatly. This has a medium nib on it and uh, it is mostly sold out. So if you're looking for one, enter in Stefano website and uh, contact him because there isn't too many left. Let's see what else. Traveling from Rome, from Stefano, uh, I went to Naples at Leonardo of China Italiana. And of course I brought something home with me. I couldn't display uh, actually what fountain pen I traded for this one because I traded one of my future exclusive pens with Salvatore Matrone of Leonardo of China Italiana and uh, he gave me one of his personal creations which was kept in his collection so it's pretty important and it is a Furore Grande Chatterley Luxury exclusive made in that purple celluloid that we've used for the Thunder edition, which was exclusive to us. This is a fountain pen which was in Salvatore's collection and actually uh, I swapped a future exclusive fountain pen of Pen Venture to this. I'm very excited. This has a number eight ruthenium plated gold nib. This is a stub, celluloid, beautiful work from Leonardo of China Italiana. And uh, knowing that this is a fountain pen of his personal collection only adds more towards the story of my collection. And uh, I, I love the work he put through in this creation and the overall theme of this amazing exclusive of Chatterley Luxury. And the actual thing is it's a little bit more uh, weighty and uh, girthier than your normal Grande Furore, so it adds a lot. The fact that I have this fountain pen right now and I traded another one from my exclusive uh, series with Salvatore Matrone. I was forgetting something at Stilografica Corsani, I also took a bottle of uh, Hiroshizuku ink, Yuyaki, which is this uh, brilliant, brilliant orange, yellowish, brownish color. And uh, I cannot wait to uh, get it in some of my pants. Moving further. Also at Naples, I met with Ciro Matrone, Salvatore's father, and we spoken in Italian. Well, he knows Italian far better than I do. I speak with my hands, just like Italians. And uh, this is, something that traveled back with me home. This is one of his personal Delta Roma Imperiale in brown ebonite. An amazing fountain pen and uh, this has a giant size 8 gold nib. It's a fine, beautiful, engraved, amazing in every single sense. It's sibling uh, which resides in my collection. This beautiful, beautiful green ebonite Delta Roma Imperiale. A little bit more special, this is a prototype featuring two rings and this has only one ring and uh, the green fountain pen belonged also to Chiro and resides in my personal collection. There is a video review for this fountain pen. I'm gonna link it up here. You can check it out if you want to see this uh, creation in more details. Anyway, uh, there is something which uh, strikes a lot of joy in uh, most of the serious fountain pen collectors. It's funny, but how to put it? Well, it's the name of a specific celluloid that really gives goosebumps to a lot of fun fan collectors. And that name is Tibaldi Imperio. Well, actually it happened. I never had a Tibaldi Imperio or uh, seen a fan fan from that material in person. Actually, I've seen it in a lot of pictures. And uh, one of my friends, a very, very trusty friend of mine, collector, client, and truly, truly friend, have been passing on 
uh, this fountain pen to me. It means a lot to him and to myself and uh, I wasn't expecting to have such a unique fountain pen but it happened it arrived a few days ago and it's a Tibaldi Imperio this beautiful faceted pen overall a very very stunning color which it's 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 a shame that we don't have such beautiful materials um, now available as impressive in person as it is in pictures it's a fountain pen which is pristinely kept used cherished collected it is uh, i think made by uh, stipula because of the actual faceted and the construction with the strings right here resembles a stipula and i know that tibaldi is owned by montegrappa but in the past i think uh, they were manufacturing with stipula it has a gorgeous gorgeous tibaldi gold nib fine very very uh, lightly engraved and minimalistic abs plastic feeder it's a piston filler everything works everything is very very nicely uh, put together on this fountain pen uh, this is one of my most impressive fountain pen scores or finds of this year pretty much we should update the list down below of my collection so we have uh, let's let's recap the lb6 is leaving uh, the new corsani stacked gray celluloid fountain pen is entering the collection the new furore grande from that purple celluloid enters the collection the delta roma imperiale in brown uh, ebonite i think it's going to be reside in my collection but anyway if you're interested in this fountain pen let me know maybe we can arrange something it comes with a box with documents everything and the fountain pen looks stunning we have to update the list down below with this impressive tibaldi imperial and uh, pretty much that is uh, bumping the number of my collection closer and closer to three digits like i told you it's not a target but anyway it happens and i cannot wait to share more of this fountain pens with you all I enjoy doing videos like this because it gives me the freedom to express myself and to enjoy and to connect emotionally with the person that's watching and the person that's going to receive some of this fountain pens because I'm not here to hoard fountain pens. I'm here to collect them, to enjoy them, to share them with my audience, with the fountain pen community and then to uh, see them enjoyed by some other people in their collections and to actually move forward and to um, enjoy collecting but also giving out fountain pens and not holding all of them for me and uh, for me it's a learning process and uh, I enjoy growing in this uh, hobby and this is what do I think it's right to do so I enjoy doing content like this if you find it fun useful interesting don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm comment down below which is your opinion regarding the lb6 try to guess which fountain pens i'm going to receive uh, in return for this fountain pen let me know from what you see today which is your favorite fountain pen that i added to my personal fountain pen collection um, your opinion is cherished and if you have any suggestions or um, questions leave them in the comment section down below I will be quick to answer those all in all this is what I have for you in this video thank you very much for staying so long on this video if you are still here you're the person that I own everything to and I'm very very grateful I do appreciate your support and if you want to help the growth of the Pamanger YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe and if you're not subscribed, you can do that right now. Just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified when I already have new content. In regards of content, if you want to continue watching my videos, you have this right here. Click and enjoy. Like always, I'm your host, Amy, and I'll look forward to seeing you next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.